Okay, in today's video we're going to be talking about the Fitbit Alta and in this portion we're going to talk about how to set it up using your computer. You guys can check out my other video where you could set it up using your phone, which I personally prefer. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is slide the box open, set that aside. You guys can see there's a magnetic strip right here. Okay, this is very important. This is the website you're going to want to go to, but before we go here, we're going to get the watch out itself. Just like this, flip it over. Okay, once you have that, set that right there. Okay, you're gonna wanna open this up. And you'll see that you have the Bluetooth wireless adapter right here. That's very important. If you were guys were using your phone, you would not need this. Okay, pull this charging cable out. Okay, we're gonna set the box aside. spread this out. Before we do anything we're going to plug this in and we're going to make sure it's fully charged. So how you do that is you open it. You guys can see that there's three little clasps right here, the little pins, and you'll see on the little charging adapter. Okay, it's almost like a closed pin. You can see it right there. You're going to want to line it up and make sure you have a good fit. Okay, just like that. Pull back, clip it in, wiggle it back and forth and make sure it's nice and snug. Okay, so we're going to come back when we have a nice full charge. Okay, so we downloaded the app. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open it up. And it's going to ask you to set up a new Fitbit device or sync now. We're setting up a new Fitbit. Okay, so now new to Fitbit or an existing user. If you have a Fitbit Flex or an older generation, obviously you're going to click existing user. But if not, and if you're setting up for the first time, if this is your first Fitbit, it's going to ask you to create an account. Just a simple email, password, and some basic information. So I already have an existing Fitbit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the video. I'm going to come right back. And in the meantime, I ask you guys to cre please create an account. So once you guys create an account, I'm going to show you where to go from there. Okay, so we're back. Once you guys created your account, what you're going to do is you're going to find this screen right here. Okay, it's asking you which Fitbit you're setting up, and we're using the Alta, so click Next. Alright, so now what it's asking you to do is connect your Fitbit to your charging cable. Okay, we spoke about this before. Make sure it's lined up properly. Just like a clothespin, open it up. Okay, wiggle it back and forth. We had a good connection. Now we're going to connect it to our computer. Okay, once it's connected to your computer, give it a couple seconds to recognize and click next. All right, right now it's searching for the Fitbit. This may take probably about 30, 30 seconds to a minute. Now while it's searching, I want to talk about this right here. Right now we're not using this. To set it up, you do not use this. What this is for is once your Fitbit is already set up, you're going to plug this into your computer. So when you want to sync your Fitbit to your computer, you're going to use this because you don't need to plug it in every time. If you plug it in, yes, it'll work. But if you don't want to plug it into your computer every time, basically have this in your desktop or your laptop and basically what it's going to do is it's going to give a signal from the Fitbit to this right here and update all your information and take all the information for the day or for the week from your Fitbit and put it on the computer. Okay, so while I was talking I found the tracker. You can see right here it gives you a select uh, four digit number. Enter it exactly as it's shown on the Fitbit onto the computer. Make sure it's correct. If it's incorrect it won't work. Okay, once you entered it in, click next. All right, and that's it. It's now connected, click next. And basically you're gonna go through some information on how to wear it, how to clean it, and uh, so on. All right, you could see don't get it wet, you know how to clean it. Okay, so for the sake of the video, we're gonna just basically scroll through everything really quickly without reading it, but I definitely suggest reading it. Okay, you want, it's asking you what wrist you're gonna wear it on how you want it displayed, but again, we're not really talking about this, we're just gonna see how to set it up. Okay, so that's it, we're all set, and uh, we're all connected. So now you'll open up your account, you'll scroll down, you're basically, it's gonna ask you for 
any information you want to enter in. I like the app, but if you're using the computer, if you don't have a cell phone, you could have it you know, basically act as an alarm, how many steps, and um, really mess around with it, go from there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. Definitely share, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. All right, so we have a blue band here. I definitely suggest getting the Fitbit logo ones that are basically made by the company. They're a lot higher quality than the ones you can buy on eBay or Amazon. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open up your Fitbit, and you're gonna notice that there's two clasps on each end. So basically just push it straight down and straight back, okay? You're gonna wanna grab your new band, line it straight up, and you're gonna hear it click, ready? That's it. So again, pull that clasp down, straight out, line it up, straight in. It's as simple as that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.